Now to a story that you will only see on Fox 5, a violent home attack where nothing was taken, but a popular social media influencer is now recovering from being shot. Fox 5's Regina Ahn spoke with the influencer and brings us his story. He had texted me four times and it was like, babe, I got shot. Baby, I got shot four times. Someone broke in my house, Sunrise Hospital. And I didn't see it at first because I was sleeping and then I got the call and he FaceTimed me from the hospital, and that's when I just was like, what's going on? Alexis Lohmeyer is Cordero Brady or CJ's girlfriend. CJ, known as CJ So Cool on social media, is often seen with Alexis in videos. The two have gained a big following. Alexis says living in Henderson her whole life, she never imagined this to happen. After the crime scene and everything, all the detectives left, his assistant went to the house to kind of just grab his belongings. But I seen from the FaceTime, it looked like the worst crime scene I have ever seen in my entire life. There was blood everywhere. Henderson police say they got a call on Tranquil Peak Court at 3 a.m. about a break-in at CJ's home. Two men dressed in all black broke in through the window and went all the way up to CJ's room. He was alone at the time. Shots broke out and CJ was shot four times in his legs. They started firing at me, so I just started trying to fight both of them off. It was two guys. I literally got my right hand on the right guy's gun and left hand on the left guy's gun. And they're just shooting, 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 shooting. Everywhere. The home that CJ is currently renting is in a heavily secured area in McDonald Highlands. A father of three, CJ had his daughter at his home just days before the shooting. My kid was just staying with me for the month and she went home on the 8th. So this literally happened three days after my daughter just flew back home to Indiana. He says he's grateful his kids and his girlfriend was not with him. I don't want my family to come over and feel safe. It's, it's not about me, it's about everyone that I'm associated with. Staying with my girlfriend, I don't want anyone feeling like they're in an unsafe environment. Why he was targeted, he believes the suspects knew of his status. But CJ says he has made an effort to make positive content and his lifestyle to reflect that as well. I don't speak negative online. I'm always playing in videos and doing videos of my children and doing things to uplift the community. But if that can happen to me, then I just don't belong in that neighborhood. As investigators continue to piece together the suspects involved, CJ and Alexis are continuing to be positive. They say they hope for justice in finding whoever was behind this attack. Regina on Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.